Are you having trouble keeping track of all of your passwords? Um, or are you looking for a way to share um, your passwords or other sensitive information with others without pulling out a pencil and paper? Um, well, in this video I'm going to show you how you can store all of those passwords securely and share them with, with others inside or outside of your organization using RoboFoy. Um, so let's hop to it. Um, so setting up your RoboForm, um, I'm, I'm going to go through the step-by-step -step processes here, so, um, you know, I'm going to go through the step-by-step -step processes here. I'm going to go through every single, uh, I'm going to go, I'm going to go through the step-by-step -step process here to walk you through it. So, um, we've gone to RoboForm.com and we'll go ahead and RoboForm um, offers a business trial which we're going to take advantage of here because you can always use this for a little bit to see if it works for you um, and then decide if it does. Um, so we'll click start your trial. Now I'm going to be setting it up for um, a company here. Company size and you'll input all your information. Um, and I might skip a little bit of this. So I've got all my information in here now. Um, business email name, phone number, passwords, um, and I agree to the terms of service and privacy policy. Um, click get started. And it brings me right to the quick start. Um, let's walk through this a little bit. And I'm not going to go ahead and not save that for Google because I'm going to be using RoboForms. Welcome to RoboForms for Business Quick Start. This quick start will guide you through the basics of user and group setup. And is a great place for you to start your trial. I'm going to say don't start again and click st start. So it says let's create RoboForm accounts for your employees. Now you can do this at this time, um, or you can go ahead and skip it. I'm going to go ahead and skip that um, for now. Create company group. Uh, group. Company groups are used for credential sharing and policy enforcement. So, for example, I'm going to create a group called admin here. And in the group admin, all of our passwords will be able to be shared, all the ones that we need shared. Um, and we can, of course, keep um, other passwords um, personally shared. Um, storage type server, limited, great, next. Please save your changes. Okay. All right. Next. Create RoboForm files. I'm going to skip that for now and add a company role. I'm going to skip that for now. So you can see here now I have my user and a group. So I'm going to open my user here, edit user. Let's pause. 
<clears throat> so this is my dashboard and it has my users and my groups and um, great I've got my one user set up now I'm going to go to install the, the browser extension so let's find it So here's the password. Now yeah, let's scroll down here, and here's the password manager under features. So we'll click on that, and we will. Um, we got it. So we have started our business trial. That's not it. Company Rockholms Activate on license. So let's click on Password Manager down at the bottom of that page and we'll scroll down until we find the more platforms in the browsers. Let's go to gmail.com to check out with an email they sent me. Alright. So now they're asking, they're saying, please follow these simple steps in setting up your company account. On form.com slash download. And this is going to install RoboForm on my browser. They want RoboForm for Chrome. If you use Chrome, or if you, use, if you use a different browser, it will automatically detect that. Um, so we're going to add to Chrome. And yes, we're going to add it. I can change data and read data. Yes, we understand. And let it go through its process. And it'll bring us back to the RoboForm start page. 
um, and we'll log in using our email and our master password that we this is the same uh, password that we um, used when we created the account but now we are just doing um, doing this from the user end as opposed to the business end. Let me try this. Alright, now it will send me another email to confirm that it is me. So I'll go back to my email, back to my inbox, and I can just simply copy and paste this email. And it'll allow me to sign in. And now we are at the home page. Um, and as it says right here, there are three ways to create logins. So as you log into your email account is one way. Um, it, it'll send a, a notification um, that will appear here on your screen that says, do you want to save this password? The other way is to click um, the add button, create new login and simply save it through there and then you can import previously saved passwords if you've used another password manager you, you'll likely be able to just export those and import them in mobile forms so let's run through these two ways real quick let's add a password from um, this site okay it's requested permission we're going to allow that Um, we'll have it um, save my Google account information. So you just input the, the information for whatever account it is and the password and I'm um, going to go ahead and just put it password in there and then So I've got my email and my password, the name, I'll keep the same, and in the folder I will save it in home, then that will be for me. If I want to share it with any of the teams, for example the admin team, I will save it in the admin folder. Um, and I'll click save and it will appear there. Um, and you can, if you have a two-factor authentication key, you can also add that in. Excuse me. Um, now let's just go through um, a website and um, and save the password through there. Let's just say an Amazon website. So I'm going to sign out because you have you'll have to sign have to be signed out to do this. Okay, let's just add an account. There is my um, account name there, and my password. I said use another password manager for a while, so I'll put my password in and then sign in. And here's RoboForm asking to save my password. I'll simply click save, and there it has it. Now, um, RoboForm will be able to log me in. And I can see on my RoboForm homepage that I have Amazon and Google now saved. Now, let's talk about sharing passwords within and without of your organization. So, let us close that. So, we're going to um, And navigate to our admin here. So we're going to add a new login. Um, excuse me, we are going to do so to share your passwords you will go to the sharing center and um, click on whatever um, folder or group you'd like to share it with. 
then add and you can add whatever um, account you need to add here. So I'll go ahead and add that my same Gmail right here. And I'll save it here. We'll go ahead and skip that for now as well. So now we're going to share this folder with another RoboForm user. So we'll go back to our sharing center. We'll click on the three little oops, we'll click on the three little dots um, above it, and we will click Group Settings. And we are going to add a user. Um, and you'll add whatever use whatever um, email is associated with that user's account. So that user has to have a RoboForms, um, but then it's instantly shareable. I think I spelled that wrong. There we go. And with that, you should have it shared. So, bon appetit.